<coughs> Good morning, everybody. It is officially Way in Wednesday. Week two. Exactly seven days into this Body for Life low carb diet mixed with exercise. And um, interestingly enough, I am having a really bad day. Um, I have a fever again. I had a fever yesterday of 100.4 which subsided when I went to sleep, and then I woke back up today, head pounding, just, I just feel like I'm on fire. And again, 100.2 right now. Lucky for you, I am vlogging from the comfort of uh, a friend's house over here uh, in Florida, trying to keep myself secluded from everybody, but um, drinking lots of water and trying to get some rest. I haven't been this sick since uh, about a year ago, actually. A year ago to the day when I got the flu. That's uh, three straight years and I've got the flu shot and I still get the flu. And last year it lasted about nine or ten days, so I'm really not looking forward to this. <laughs> Just, uh, it's, it's real life, man. Uh, do what I can do. I will try to stay healthy and hydrated um, the last two days. And it's funny, too, because I know how this happened. When I was on the Simpsons ride in Universal, there's a lady right next to me on the ride, you know, right next to my shoulder, just coughing up a storm the entire queue, the entire ride. And I guess in my mind, I just thought she was a smoker and coughing. No, she had the flu at, at, at a park. Lovely. Hi, Jax. Hi, guy. How you doing? Your, your new uh, Pirates Mickey ID tag looks great, but I don't want to get you sick. I don't know if I can get you sick, but I don't want to take the chance. So, it's way in Wednesday. Let's get right to it. I am happy to announce that I have been able to stay on my diet really, really well. I took my cheat day and officially made that Fridays. So per the Body for Life diet system that I'm going by here, Bill Phillips uh, has a strict foods that you can eat and can't eat. And you got to have that cheat day to reset. So um, I feel like it's working really well. But what's going on right now is I've got my Body Boss system and I have dedicated four days of weight training. Actually, it's resistance training because it's the bands. But I got uh, four days, so we, we're, we're doing arms one day, legs one day, midsection abs on day three, and then shoulders and up and bo upper body on day four. In between those two day things, I'm doing cardio for 30 minutes, which right now is is boxing with the resistance on that for for, for 30 minutes. And um, I know I'm doing well with that because kind of a an unusual uh, trick is that my Apple Series Watch 5 here uh, has the activity thing where it tells me three things. Uh, my exercise, my moving throughout the day, and my standing up throughout the day. It really helps it, it, it in, in a way where it's got circular dials. And several days in Disney and Universal, you know, the dial would actually wrap around twice as far as the walking when I was doing six or eight miles of walking each day. Other days, I'm getting ready to go to bed about 10 p.m. and I look at it and the exercise, even though I did my weight training, it wasn't enough according to the watch. So it says I need to get a little farther. And I just looking at that and then going back into the calendar settings for the previous days, it helps motivate me. It's like, man, we got to do some jogging or high knee kicks or something before we go to bed to fill these rings. So the Apple Watch is a great little health meter. It's like a, like a Fitbit, but I love it. <laughs> it's working really well. Kind of an unexpected thing. I didn't think I was going to be using that. And the heart rate tracker. And the other cool thing is when I'm doing my exercises, like when I was at the uh, Encore Resort there, I can just select which workout I'm doing, whether it's weight training or here's the elliptical right here. And then you can time that. It tells me how many calories I'm burning on the elliptical for that session. I can pause it, stop it, end it, restart it later, and help get my exercise wheels done. But I haven't been to one yet, and I don't know when the next time I'm going to be at a resort with a fitness center. I've also considered joining a gym because I really like the rowing machines. It's great for my abs and my legs and my arm muscles. And I really miss the elliptical machine that's a full body workout. It's not like walking. I can really get my heart rate up at like 130, 135 for a good half hour and just do that machine at those places. So I am missing one and I'm considering is there a way to have a portable one in an RV? I don't know because, you know, the boxing thing just... Maybe it isn't, isn't quite working very well for me. but So that's working great. The food's working great. The broccoli, I'm enjoying the broccoli now. Every single bite of chicken I have with dinner, I have a, a broccoli, a piece of broccoli. I chew it all together. It works fine. I wash it down with water. I am drinking more than a gallon of water a day. So to be perfectly honest, I feel... I feel confident and like I'm doing a good job with the diet and the workout. I couldn't be happier. I've never, I never made it this far. 
Um, there are some other things that I have discovered along the way, some changes I've made with the Atkins diet, and that is that there are some treats. Like, this is peanut fudge granola bar, health bar. 16 grams of protein, only two net carbs, because it's got eight grams of fiber. So it's a very healthy treat, and according to the uh, book, this counts as one of those six meals, six small portion meals that you're supposed to have a day. Along with that, there's also these uh, chocolate treats. Oh my god, it's a different version, the indulge ones. But again, only two grams of net carbs. So keeping it under 25 for the day is super easy with these foods. They're not cheap though. And then this one, the creamy chocolate protein shake. It's three grams of net carbs and this counts as a whole meal as well. The way the book describes it is that your portions, those six portions are supposed to have, about the size of your fist. So your chicken, your broccoli, whatever's in that one of six meals, the size of your fist is good. And this counts as one of those six meals. So, I mean, I feel like I'm doing a lot better now that I found out I can, this tastes like chocolate milk, like really good, bad for you chocolate milk, but it's actually really healthy, surprisingly. And lastly, um, I have a cheat day so I can drink alcohol. I could if I wanted to drink soda. I still have not had a soda of any kind in January, not one time if I had a soda, a Coke, a root beer, nothing, just water and those protein shakes. But on my day off, you saw I had a beer at Universal Studios and I have switched from Bud Light to Michelob Ultra. The, uh, try on the can, 2.6 grams of carbs, very low carb, still 95 calories in it. But for my days off on Friday, if I want to have a couple of these to kind of celebrate the progress, I did get a 24-pack of Michelob Ultra, and I've switched away from Bud Light. A little healthier. I will admit, it, it pretty much tastes like water. I, I, you know, I know there's alcohol in it because it says there's alcohol in it, but it tastes like water, so I'm not overdoing it on my uh, days off, at least. Okay, let's uh, let's do the weigh-in. Let's do the weigh-in. Okay, dokie, get this set up. I gotta take. Oh, you're ready. Jax is ready. Yeah. All right, moment of truth. Week one, what are we going to have here? 209.2. Um, you know, out of everything I expected, that is not what I expected to see. <sighs> Nothing. No change. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, the results does not match the effort that I put in this last week. And that is really, really, really super disappointing. Man. Sorry. You caught me a little off guard here. Uh, I, uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, my, my muscles everywhere, my arms, my back, my shoulders, my, my, my legs right here, my uh, calves, everything is aching. So I know I'm pushing myself and pushing my muscles to be able to uh, change some of that fat over into muscle. However, how do you not see a change after what I've done this week? <coughs> I'm baffled. There you go. <clears throat> also worth pointing out that I have some friends and family also joining me on this 90-day thing that, that James is putting on with uh, Russ and I, and uh, they've been posting on Facebook the last couple days also, saying things like, lost five pounds in the first five days, lost ten pounds in the first six days. I worked my butt off and I got nothing. This week. Actually, I, I don't know how, I, actually, I feel a little, I feel a little strange right now. I'm going to pause this and get back to you in just a minute. Okay, uh, coming into this right now, I haven't talked with James about what his results are, or Russ's results are, so I'm posting this blind. I think they're kind of posting blind. I've asked James to talk a little bit about his workout routine and his food. I know he's doing intermittent fasting, which is you only eat six hours out of the day and then take 18 off. Well, that's the exact opposite of what I'm working on here, which is six different meals throughout the day to keep your body from going into panic mode. However, again, I can't get past the part that I was supposed to lose weight. I mean, I, something. I did. I lost, what, 0 .04? 0 .04. Okay, but, I, I, you know, to be honest, I was really hoping to see somewhere in the three to six pound difference 
to to supplement the work that I've been putting in, you know. And that's really where I wanted to be is losing three week three pounds a week. So that twelve weeks, uh three pounds, I would be at about thirty six pounds lost for the ninety day challenge, which is which would be great. Thirty is my goal to get down to uh one eighty or more. And that was not the results I wanted to see. Um it's but you know it's also important to note that you know I'm gaining muscle. I, I know I'm gaining muscle because I can feel it. So I'm swapping some fat for muscle, obviously with the workout. And no matter what, changing my diet from all the processed foods and pizzas and burgers and tater tots and chimichangas and just everything that I was eating unhealthy to all of a sudden eating nothing but healthy. Thank you for the kisses, Jex. Uh, it's got to be doing something for my body. So uh, James recommended getting a, a tape measure to measure my waist to see how I'm going down. That's definitely something I can do. Um... But being 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 as sick as I am right now, I'm not I'm not highly motivated. I'm actually feeling since I turned the camera off, I'm actually feeling a lot of just disappointment. I'm a little depressed. I'm just like that's not fair. That's not fair. But it's not about judging what I'm doing with other people necessarily, except that this is a competition. <sighs> I've never worked harder in a week in my life. Can I at least say that? I'm 38 years old. I've never worked harder or been more passionate about what I'm doing than I did the last week, and I've got nothing to show for it. So. Anyway. Brings me to the next point. Like I said, I have got a nasty flu, a nasty cough. My head's on fire. My chest hurts when I cough. Taking Tylenol and, and emergency and all that good stuff. I'm drinking water, staying healthy. I'm freezing cold in Florida. You know, um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to do my best to get better, guys. But but what, but we're live here now. I'm between Orlando and Tampa, and I can't talk to anybody in person. I can't go do anything until I'm not contagious and I feel better. Obviously. So, you two peeps, please be patient. I am excited to get back on the road and start exploring some more natural areas and boondocking and uh, making some changes and possibly working my way out of Florida eventually. But, um, you know, I'm just, uh, hi, Jax. I'm just not, not feeling good with the results is all. Next week. Next week there'll be a change, okay? All right, guys. Bye.